Hi, this is your host Abdul Bhartia and welcome to a special edition of TFL Let's Talk here at KubeCon EU in Amsterdam. And today we have with us once again, Ryan Kaur, Vice President of Global Sales at Cloud Casa by Catalogic. Ryan, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you, Swapnil, for having me here. Uh, we are here at KubeCon EU. Talk a bit about, you know, uh, the presence that you're seeing here, uh, what kind of folks are walking to the booth, uh, and you know the questions they're asking. A lot of people are coming to the booth and they're absolutely excited because they're using Valero in their environment today. So when they see Cloud Casa for Valero, what, it, what is that, right? And we're building an experience for them to enhance the capabilities of Valero, giving them a UI, an ability to be able to monitor, right, and get logging. From, from their Valero uh, clusters as, as well. So it's been really, really exciting for, for them to see that we're enhancing that experience when, when they're using the open source solution. I also want to hear you know, about your presence, what, what you know, activities, what announcements you made here. Um, so the, our announcement, right, um, Cloudcast for Valero, is to go ahead and uh, help enhance that experience of users who are using Valero, right? Um, you know, there's, there's certain gaps that we go ahead and help yeah, fit that as far as um, going ahead and solving these problems around um, multi-cluster management, um, alerting and, and reporting, um, as, as well as providing enhanced recovery capabilities uh, through our UI. Can you also talk about, you know, that uh, what were the driver behind this announcement? What did you, uh, or to come up with this you know, solution, either the challenges that you see that your customer were facing, or you know, they're like, hey, this is the evolution of Cloud Casa in the Kubernetes world. So what was the driver behind this? The, the driver behind it really is, is that the community loves open source. Nobody wants to really be closed, closed source, right? And given that there's a lot of people who are using Valero in, in their environment today, we want to, like I mentioned before, is go ahead and enhance that experience. Um, and that's why we, we developed Cloud Casa for Valero. And let's just talk about enhancing that experience sure. with Valero. Uh, what changes you know a developer you know or the teams feel you know when they they've le leveraged your uh, you know solution sure so when a customer is using using valero today right um it's it's focused on each specific cluster but as you start expanding out your environment it becomes difficult to manage and that's where we come in to help give you a unified pane of glass to manage those clusters in in a single pane of glass to give you the alerting the monitoring, um, and really just scale out across across your environment. When we look at you know the the Kubernetes ecosystem, you know it can be self managed, it could be managed solution, it could be SaaS. So so talk a bit about the the kind of different use cases and the benefit that Valero with Cloud Casa brings to different use cases. Sure, definitely, right? Um, so first off, our, our solution is SaaS, so it's quick and, and and easy to deploy, right? A customer is already currently running Valero in their environment. One of the big things is we want to not disrupt what they're currently doing today. So our integration with Valero is non-disruptive. We can go ahead and identify all the backups that a user is currently doing today, see their whole history, give them a compliance dashboard to show them what is being protected, what isn't. But most importantly is to give the end user the capability to see all of their recovery points, right? And then to be able to seamlessly recover from it. And some of the other things that we've gotten positive feedback around is how do I give self-service capabilities back to some other end users within the organization, right? And we have role-based access control where we can say, hey, listen, you have a specific team that uses these specific clusters, allow them to do their own restores, right? And, and you know, the feedback that we're hearing is, wow, that's great because certain teams will come back to us and ask us, hey, can you go ahead and do the restore? And they will have to wait on us till we have time available whereas now they can use our solution, give the end user the self-service capabilities that they, they need. And since Valero is open source, so I have two full questions there. One is that uh, how are you planning to maintain the cadence of their release with you know, your support for them, number one. Number two is that if there are Valero users and they want to leverage you know, your SaaS solutions, how easy or difficult it is for them to, to you know, quickly, it doesn't really matter where they are, they can just start leveraging Cloud Casa. They, they can start leveraging Cloud Casa, right? As long as they can access our, our portal on the web. And effectively what we do is we install a small agent onto their clusters and that's how we go ahead, figure out what are they doing, give you all the different recovery points. So it's very easy, quick and easy to set up and to deploy, right? As, 
as far as on the Valero versions themselves, right, we constantly work with the, the Valero maintainers as well. So we're contributors and we're always working together to ensure that these end users are going to have a positive experience. And how users can access this service? Is it free? Is it, there's a paid model, there's a trial model? You can sign up. So it's free for the first uh, 15 worker nodes, right? And then if you want support for those first 15 worker nodes, uh, it's $199 uh, a month, and then uh, $19 for each additional worker node uh, after that. Ryan, thank you so much for taking time out today, and uh, of course, talk about Valero uh, Cloud Casa, and as usual, I'd love to have you back on the show. Thank, thank you. Thank you, absolutely. It was a pleasure as well. <laughs>